name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm still a targeted individual. Uh, I'd like to make a comment in reply to uh, some comments someone left. Uh, I was talking about my father, and they said, you know, I don't have any parents, and nobody to care for me. And, uh, you know, if your father's willing to send you any money, that's a wonderful thing. And the fact that anybody sent you any money, that's amazing. And, you know, you got a, a wife and a roof over your head for the moment, and the internet, and da 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 And yes, that is true. And I am grateful for these things. I understand that it is this luxury compared to what a lot of people have to deal with. You know, I, I'm not uh, non-empathetic. In fact, I spend a lot of my time praying for uh, people who, who are suffering and are, you know, uh, have horrible lives. You know, you think I don't cry over this stuff? You think I don't realize? You know, what kind of world this is, you know? I think I don't see the people living in the cardboard boxes. I've been there. I've been living in a cardboard box for a while myself, you know? I know, and I am grateful for these things. I'm grateful that I'm breathing at this moment. I'm grateful that I have this phone that I can talk to, and even if no one else sees it, it makes me feel a little better. And if people do see it, Sometimes that makes me feel even better. And I hope that for some people, it makes them feel better, you know? Uh, that's really about all I can do, and all I can think of to do with what's left of my life is, you know, A, tell the story, B, uh, give an outlet for other people to say what happened to them, that, you know, this has to be known. And, uh, no, you know, I may sound like a, a big, uh, a careless, selfish, you know, asshole who, who doesn't realize how good he's got it, you know, because I'm always complaining about having no power and having to stress and having to take my meds and being zapped with the microwaves and the pain and the ringing in the ears and the vomiting and the rapid aging and, you know, liver problems and vision problems and headaches and, uh, weight loss and stress and anger and panic attacks and fear and you know the, the possibility of being homeless if you don't hustle and all this stuff yeah but I also reckon you know realize the miracles that, that God has actually sometimes directly answered my prayer right then and there like uh, miraculously and uh, that there have been times where we should have been destroyed and for some reason, we weren't, you know, and I just keep realizing that, yes, the, the Lord, you know, our Creator, my Creator, my Father, is looking out for me, but at the same time, I find it really difficult to understand why we have to go through so much suffering and pain and, and horror, but... You know, I, I just keep telling myself there must be a reason, there must be a purpose, and I can't understand it, you know? That's all. I just can't understand it. You know, there are people who, who say, you know, God doesn't exist, and it's just a bunch of crap you made up in your head to make yourself feel better, and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, honestly, sorry, honestly, I have seen things that, that you know, tell me that something is something's going on. There's definitely something bigger than me. And, uh, you know, when I was completely, uh, when my body was infested with, with little red creatures with red glowing eyes living inside of every one of my veins, and I lost 35 pounds in two weeks, and, uh, you know, we went to this lawyer's office and pretended to do some lawyering and then left us there, and we spent the night with the with the crazy watcher FBI people in the next room and, the, and this thing happened, uh, you know, this being was talking to me in my mind and telling me that I was very sick and that they were there to help me and they were going to 
do some kind of medical procedure, and they did, and I said fine, and it's a whole story in and of itself. The way my consciousness was disconnected from my body, and, and I could hear this voice in my head perfectly clearly asking me, did I feel any pain? And these little tiny beings, they looked like little, almost like claymation. These little guys came and went inside of me and did things. And then out, you know, from above me, this dome came out of the ceiling with these long articulated things reaching and did something to the top of my head. And I wasn't in any pain. And then I went to sleep. And when we woke up, it was freezing cold in this room, like they had put on the, the air conditioner to freezing. And the, the people, the wall behind us had opened up, there was a glass thing, and there were people in there, and some being, that was gone. And I looked, and the things in my veins were gone. And I, I felt better, I could lift and carry, I was strong, and, uh, you know, and I would chalk it all up to just, uh, you know, a hallucination uh, from all the strange, you know, psychoactive drugs they covertly gave us. But Petra saw it too. So, you know, either it's just some technology that was used to fool me or something happened. I don't know what to think, you know. Literally, this stuff, if it's real, or if it's just some counterintelligence operation, has ripped the rug out from under, you know, the foundation that you walk on, the stuff you believe, the things that, uh, that you were taught, the way that you look at the world. I have gone through so many paradigm shifts, and, and the feeling of cathartic change is remarkable. I can't explain what it's like, but there was a time where I realized that my thinking was banging up against the inside of my thoughts, uh, inside of my, my brain, because I realized that my thinking only encompassed a certain amount of things and I could no longer rationalize, accept or comprehend the world with the limited set uh, of beliefs, understanding and experiences that I had and so I was forced to undergo a shift, a shift in thinking, a shift in being, a shift, I don't know how else to explain it, you know, and uh, I'm not the only one that has recorded these little, little Meitzel mentions, these little uh, creatures, these, um, you know, I've, I've read some reports of uh, shamanistic, um, shamanistic, uh, experiential, uh, spiritual thing, and also like uh, Terence McKenna's writings and other people who have experienced DMT, dimethyltryptamine, which is a molecule that we actually already have in our brains, and it's in many, many uh, species of acacia tree and other plants. Uh, so, uh, they've reported these little Meitzel mentions, these little guys that, that sort of dance around and 